Hey guys, how are you going? Um, today I'm going to be doing something completely different. I'm going to be exposing two particular people on jailbreak because I think that um, awareness is a good thing and I'm sure pretty much all of you know who these people are. So um, I'm just going to basically be going through a few things that they've been doing lately and um, what they're capable of doing because I think it's important that these people are exposed and I think that the appropriate measures should be taken in terms of them um, getting the right punishment so um, I'm gonna start off with seven lost and I'm gonna um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is how he scams people so many of you know that um, he scams it's your goat in the past he actually got onto his account and he sold his cash um, another player is OBC5 um, he obtained her account and got her pass and was able to steal everything that was on there so he admits this in a few screenshots that I've posted on YouTube. Um, the most recent thing that he's been doing is stealing limits from the shop and hiding them for a while and then sending it to um, alternative accounts and then transferring these um, to himself. So another thing that he does is he has got so many multiple accounts. So what he does with these accounts, these multiple accounts, um, is that he practices his scripts, he practices um, all the things that he wants to implement in the game. So he's known for opening multiple accounts. Um, his main account was Sunny Was Us. He actually got banned. Um, he's currently seven lost and he uses these multiple accounts for order robbing, trolling, harassing, um, practicing hacks. Many people can attest to this and um, he uses these old accounts <clears throat> to wipe out servers and practice these scripts before implementing it on his main account. He kind of he kind of does this to bypass security and see if he's actually picked up um, by the Roblox, um, you know, security. And he kind of practices on these alts before he can actually do it on his main because he's afraid that he will get caught. Um, so that's another thing that he does. Okay, so another thing is auto robbing. Everybody knows him for this. Um, before restrictions were applied onto um, our safe opening, um, we know that Cal used to auto rob and send safes to himself from alt accounts. Many people know this and it's nothing hidden. Um, I think a lot of people are afraid to come out with it, um, even though you know nothing is ever done about it. So this is how most of his cash was actually made on his current account after getting his main after his main got banned. So he currently has 5,000 plus safes on his main account, which I have provided a screenshot of, um, which is absolutely impossible considering the fact that his, um, you know, the day that he opened his account was um, in 2020. So another thing he does is he writes his scripts. He practices scripts on all accounts. And he actually does some of these scripts on his main account, to be honest. And um, the most recent thing that he's been doing is writing his own scripts to spawn the plane and receive multiple cash from the crates that come in. Um, something he, he has tried to get us to do as well, um, which we didn't feel too comfortable about. So we kind of avoided it. And um, this is a type of person that will easily get angry with you if you don't comply to what he expects of you um, so he also explodes vaults and uses god mode and he also uses visual studio to do some coding so that's that's what he spends his time with and he thinks that he can um, bypass you know security and make easy cash I want to talk a little bit about his personality because I want you guys to actually understand what kind of a person he is. He's an extremely difficult person to get along with. Um, um, he just causes trouble and manipulates a lot of things trying to control you. If you go against what he wants you to do, he goes um, into this attack mode and will basically make your life a living hell um, inside and outside of game. So he... he <coughs> 
You won't let you play in public service, forcing you to retreat to private servers all the time, um, as he's always using his, you know, his hacks and to troll you, um, such as busting tires and so on, making it virtually impossible for you to play the game on a public server. He always uses inappropriate language against people to cause fights and drama. Um, he also is a very manipulative in the sense where he tries and pin the. Um, pins the blame on other people um, or will try and get you to do one of his hacks so that he can record it and send it in in order to get you banned so just be aware of some of his tactics um, another thing that he does is him in, um, this is outside of obviously Roblox and everybody knows about Discord um, and just be aware of certain things that are going around or the, some of the things that he might be sending people he, he actually manipulates and edits edits discord chat so um he does this to cause division by getting your friends to turn against you um and it's very easily picked up on when you see um the writing i've actually provided an example of that as, as well he actually forgot to remove the blue um cursor from his edit so he was actually busted for that so um the way you can pick it up is that it's the, the white writing in in that chat or if you screenshot something it's actually a lot dull duller than um the actual discord chat so it, it's it's not it's it's kind of fainted um so you can actually see the color differences between the two so it's easily recognizable and these um these screenshots that he sends are a lot fainter than the normal chat so he also um trolls you on youtube by you know leaving you inappropriate comments and deleting them to try and intimidate intimidate you um so he will not leave you alone and he is a, the biggest attention seeker of all time and people should be aware of him so my advice my advice okay so my advice is don't trust him with anything um, don't friend him, don't associate with him, don't give him the attention that he desires. He's just, um, he's just lost. Um, he's currently looking at getting me banned only because I deleted him off my friends list and he will try his utmost to um, achieve his goals. Um, and it's really just a shame to see somebody spend this, many, this much time trolling people every day. Um, so I guess, um, nice try, Cal. So the next person I want to move on to is someone called Emir. Now, Emir is another person that many of you know. He has been known to scam people in the past. Um, what he did recently was send someone a cookie dog while that person um, was trying to set up their VPN and it was off at the time. So he was obviously able to bypass the security um while he was setting it up after getting this account after getting his account details he went in and wasted 70 million um cash from his account and not only that but he went to the extent to record the actual um spending of the safes and posted it on youtube and then sent the person um a copy of the video so that's what he's been doing lately he's um, very openly admitted it on discord um, I've, po I've posted the video of him recording um, him wasting all his cash um, just so you guys can get an idea of exactly what he's done so um, feel free to check the video out and I think that's it from me guys so thank you so much for watching and I hope that these guys really do reform themselves and um, just leave us the hell alone. <laughs> Alright, so take care guys. Bye.